Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with Fox Sports Radio for the card Monday, Championship Monday. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time to rant and run. What did we talk about uh, all week on the radio show and with the videos? You had those trends that were solid since 2002. That went 4-0 if you got a good number and bet the Steelers game early. The big trend, 2002, Sagarin's rating, strength of schedule. If there was a difference of 10 or more, it was 85% since 2002. That went 2-0 and with two easy winners. The plays were on the Chiefs and the Packers. That is now 25-4 and straight up since 2002. Holy Christ, that is amazing. Uh, great job by the Packers. Slow start, came out, dominated the second half, going up and down the field. Great performance by Rodgers, and the Packers suddenly look like they have a shot. Throw out what happened a couple weeks ago. You've seen this in the NFL. You saw Seattle win 38-7. They should have lost to Minnesota. You had the 14-2 and Patriots that dominated the Jets on a Monday night. They got them in the playoffs and got beat. Denver went to Baltimore a couple of years ago and kicked their ass. Then they lost to them at home in their first playoff game as, as big favorites as well. So crazy stuff can happen in the NFL playoffs. See if the Packers go to Arizona and upset them. So uh, it was also what we discussed. Cousins, McCarron, Bridgewater, and Hoyer. The four home quarterbacks had zero combined playoff starts against 37 playoff starts by the visiting team. Road teams go 4-0. and The playoff, the lack of playoff experience showed for these guys at home. And some blowouts and some ugly performances by these quarterbacks. It started with Hoyer and Bridgewater. Eh, he hung in there, but you, you didn't look like Minnesota was able to move the ball or score when you watched that game, although the elements had a lot to do with that. And Blair Walsh, what can you say? A 27-yard field goal for the win. They Ray finkled him. Lace is out. Oh, man. He's got to chew on that and think about that the entire offseason. Feel bad for that guy. But with the weather, it looked like it was going to be a 12-9, 12-10 type game. And Seattle, how about the play by Wilson over his head? Bam. The throw to Lockett really got him going on offense. Here we go. Championship Monday, Alabama, Clemson. Great game. Will it be four titles in seven years for Bama? Or will we have the first team in college football history to go 15-0? and Number one in the country, the only undefeated team, seven-point underdogs. A ton of picks to choose from. Steven Nover's got a three-star on this game. 12-3 and three run in college football. Ken Thompson hit his game of the year. He's got a three-star on this for $19. A ton of, ton of guys to go with on this. Total sides, it's all up there at pregame.com. We hit our college football game of the year. We have our game of the month with this selection in Alabama Clemson. Grab that for $25. Huge pick on this one with Alabama and Clemson. So it's all up there at pregame.com, which should be a fascinating game. We'll be back Tuesday, Tuesday to recap everything. So uh, go nuts up there at pregame.com. The free pick betting half heat on this one. We'll give out the Spurs minus 14 against the Nets as they are cleaning house. Holland's out, King out. Good luck with the new GM who doesn't have any draft picks. So we thought the, the Nets would be one of the worst teams in the league before the season. We got that right. Spurs laying 14 with the free pick. I've ranted now. I'm going to run. Good luck out there. We'll talk to you Tuesday on pregame.com.